Before the producers of Black Mirror decided to graduate from making those choose-your-own-adventure episodes to making us all the stars of their first live-action seasons, there were plenty of signs that we'd entered a horrible alternate timeline. I first discovered that we were living in a simulation way before 60-year-old ladies started wearing Crip bandanas as face masks in public just so they could get into fistfights over toilet paper. The moment it became crystal clear to me that uh, Doc and Marty must have crashed the DeLorean and let Biff become president actually happened while watching TV back in America. In America, we, we have a pretty hilarious news parody comedy show called Fox News. You may have heard of it. Uh, it was the runner-up to the Pyongyang Daily for Best State Sponsored Propaganda Network last year. A anyway, the exact moment I knew that Skynet had won happened when who should I see making an appearance on Fox and Friends to promote his new gospel album but Kanye West? Kanye. Fox News. Gospel album. Are we talking about the same Kanye West, the great warrior poet who wrote such stanzas as Prince William ain't do it right if you ask me? If I was him, I would have married Kate and Ashley. Hey, not to keep quoting Kanye West, but that shit cray. What's she order? Chick-fil-A. Now, was I shocked by this because Kanye had taken a new direction and explored a new interest? No, not at all. People grow and change all the time. What I was surprised at was Fox News. Kanye's been the series villain since the early episodes, culminating in season 10 when they had that whole plot of him snatching the VMA award from Taylor Swift. It was crazy. I thought they were going to either bring back Robert E. Lee, or at a minimum, the General Lee from the Dukes of Hazard. They issued a Fox News alert. They brought back that weird color thing from 9-11 and uh, changed it to orange. For context, this was 2009. A cool black guy had been president for one year, and Taylor Swift was making millions with her plantation owner's daughter gimmick. And then she had to go and ruin it all by saying something stupid like, Hey, hey maybe women should have rights. Now, Taylor's written off the show, and Kanye's wearing MAGA hats? How could we have not seen the end was coming, people? And the crazy thing is that even with Manchurian candidate Kanye West on the loose and everything else going on, I still have friends that haven't woken up to the danger yet. I have Australian friends that, even after their country nearly burned to the ground, they said they weren't concerned about this most recent crisis because, and I quote, Australia has its own domestic toilet paper production capability. Which is weird, right? Because prisons normally just make license plates. I am gravely disappointed. You hold your toilet paper. Again, you have made me unleash my total support. 